Hey guys, today I'm going to show you how to install the Bucket Plugin Sworn RPG. So, like always, first download it. Now this is a huge plugin, perfect for PvPing or leveling up or giving rewards and different things. It's a huge plugin that's actually pretty fun. So, put it on your desktop. X out this. Alright, go and open up your server. Go into your plugins folder, like always and drop sworn rpg there you go and i i recommend you use vault for this for rewards and once you do that run your server and there you go so that's how simple it is to just drag and drop and run your server so now i'm going to show you how to do all the commands and as much as i can okay so i'm going to show you how to configure the Swarm RPG plugin. So right here debug, so if uh, there's an error in the background on your console, you can change this to true and it'll tell you what's going on in the background. Update checker. So if a new bucket, like if they come out with a new download link, it'll update, I mean not update, but it'll tell you to update or that there's a new update. Iron door protect, so it protects the iron doors and uh random drop so if you have a block and you destroy it there could be let's say you destroy a dirt block and uh it gives you something like a wooden stick sometimes that'll happen so it does random drops and then uh it will also give you the same block like dirt and then the um stick and axe kb so what this would do is where yeah axe knockback anyway so what this would do is where if a uh, player has an axe and he hits someone, then it will knock them back. So you can change that to however you want. Arrow fire. So if you shoot your arrow, then uh, it could, like, um, random chance that players can catch on fire when you shoot them. Death book. So if you die somewhere, then if you have essentials, it will send you a mail message. And uh, if not, it will give you a book. And then I'm going to go down here. So right here, camping radius. If a player is within a amount of radius of a mob spawner, cancel XP gain. So what this means is where if you are right by a mob spawner and you're killing uh, mobs, does it like give you extra XP? Because if you wasn't by one of these mob spawners and you was just uh, killing mobs, this plugin gives extra XP. Alright, so I'm going to scroll down here. Autosave is where, um, how long, I mean, how fast or how long does it save um, all the stats. And then I'm going to go down here, super pickaxe. So if it has super pick pickaxe where it can do special effects and stuff, level multiplier too. And then unlimited ammo. So uh, in gun PvP, um, plus, I um, you can have unlimited ammo or just mess around with this type of uh, configuration. And mob kills enable true. So, like I said, whenever you kill a mob, you can get extra XP. So you can tell how much XP you get extra. And then over here, player kills. So let's see, XP gain 25. XP gain when a player kills. And so if you kill someone, XP lost when a player dies that's right there and then XP game when a player kills so if you're online for an amount of time or whatever it gives you uh, XP whenever you're online it's a bunch of configuration so some of this stuff is really confusing for me and for you guys but I know a lot of this stuff but not everything <laughs> so uh, enchanting so if it gives you XP gain enchanting and all this other thing so fishing if it gives you like for fishing xp so a bunch of this stuff is a bunch of stuff where it gives you xp you can change it to true or whatever level leveling reward so what this will do is whenever you level up with xp then it gives you like a real uh, reward so you can set up however you want of what it gives you whenever you rank up health tag so if it shows how much a mob has of um, health left or a player health you can change that around disabled world so this is where uh, the whole entire plugin is disabled in what world so if you don't want it in a particular world 
confusion. So confusion when a player punches another player in the face, then does it confuse the player? As in like blindness and other things. Alright, so block drops. This is all the stuff that you can edit where uh, the random chance of a drop, I mean, a random chance of destroying a block. So you can do a bunch of uh, IDs here. And then fish drops. So if you get a fish, then, or whatever, it gives you a bunch of um, other items. So you, you can just mess around with that. And then redeem block um, list. So blacklist materials for building redeem. So uh, this is just block list of a bunch of uh, a bunch of um, items that you can blacklist. And over here messages. I'm not good at the configuration, but the actual plugin itself is really simple. So you can just edit however you want in this message. You can do whatever, like just edit anything in here. That's a message. So yeah, that's pretty much uh, how simple it is to use configuration. Uh, this config in here is kind of confusing, but uh, once you get once you actually get in the game or fast forward through this video, I'll show you what almost or everything I can show you of all the commands of how it works. Okay, so one of the things in this is speed boost. So if you keep just running like this. And after a little while, you'll see speed boost and gives you a little boost of running really fast. It happened to me earlier. There you go, speed boost. So then you can go super fast and it got rid of it because I stopped. But it usually gives you um, a potion, but so you can go really fast that way. So that's one thing that they have. Okay, so the other thing is in the config where uh, if you die, it tells you the coordinates of where you... Um, died so since I don't have any essentials in this server yet uh, it gave me a book instead so death chords so it tells you the chords of where you died which I already know where I died it was around this building because I was showing how to do zombies and there's probably a bunch of zombies I don't know but yeah I died somewhere around here and after that that's pretty much uh, the death coordinates uh, and if you use essentials, you can use slash mail read, but of course I don't have essentials. And it tells you the death coordinates. Yeah, so another thing that Swarm RPG has is you can get, um, you can rank up, and once you rank up, you get a reward. So I'm going to show you how you, once you get XP, you rank up and get a reward for whatever you placed in config. So I'm going to kill these guys first to get the reward. There it is. So it says I leveled up to level two, and now I get reward of diamonds. So each time you level up, it represents how many diamonds you get. So I'm going to get rid of this. So let's say you leveled up to level two, like like I did. Your reward is two diamonds. So it keeps going high and high. So it's a good way of ranking up once you have XP. The other thing that Sworn RPG plugin has is the command slash hat which allows you to wear a item that you are holding in your hand as a hat so i'll show you an example slash hat and there you go so now you're going to look in your inventory and you have it on your head all right so another thing they have is uh like i said whenever you break a block a random thing sometimes comes out like last time oh here's more seeds so i got these pumpkin seeds when i destroyed it so it takes a little while to kick in. It just does a random timing. And it gives me a different block. Not really different. See, I keep getting pumpkin seeds. So that's one thing that you can set up and change whatever the block um, it should give you whenever you do a random thing. Oh, there's a pump and potato. I'm gonna eat that for myself. All right, so that's one thing you can do. The other thing that Sworn RPG has is 
where the item that you are holding in your hand, you can rename it instead of just stone, you can rename it to something else. So slash I name, and then you tell the name that you want it to be. So Stony. Just gonna say that. So now it's renamed to Stony. The other thing that Sworn RPG has is a slash staff and it shows a list of the staff that is online. So if the player has a permission, um, the permission for this command, they uh, will be uh, pretty much a staff. So a slash staff and it shows a list of the ops right here. So it shows you online staff. The other thing that Sworn RPG has is whenever you fish, you get extra XP if you got a fish. If you uh, get a fish, sometimes in random uh, moments, you can get an extra block, like kind of like destroying blocks, you can get a random block. So that's one other thing that uh, Sworn RPG plugin has. Another thing that Swarm RPG has is where you can ride on players' heads. So the command would be slash ride and then the player's name. But right now I don't have my uh, player on, so I can't really ride anyone's head. But you can try it for yourself. Once you're done riding the player's head, type slash unride. Anyways, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, you can like, uh, subscribe if you enjoyed it. If you did not think this was helpful, uh, it's okay to give a dislike, but if you do, please comment your problems below, and I'll see if I can help, and uh, see if I can make it up to you. Anyway, so that's all for today.